Boy, have I been looking forward to this story. It's a sweet story for all of you chocoholics out there. Do cookies, cakes, and brownies taste better if you use that more expensive chocolate? The Good Housekeeping Institute had a tough time with this assignment. So did we in the newsroom. The taste test that we took part in this afternoon. Consumer Watch reporter Wendy Bell has the results. When you're cooking with chocolate, do you really need to splurge on all the expensive stuff? Chocolate lovers from the Good Housekeeping Food Kitchen conducted two blind taste tests to find out. We tested four brands of chocolate from a basic supermarket brand at about $6 to a premium at $14. We used Baker's, Ghirardelli, Lindt, and Valrona. We baked a basic chocolate brownie recipe from Good Housekeeping and tasted it for texture and intensity of chocolate flavor. The moderately priced Ghirardelli chocolate was without question the landslide winner. It was the most chocolatey and rich flavor and moist and not as um, butterscotchy as some of the others. It was a classic perfect brownie. It wasn't too gummy yet it was moist enough to make me you know, want to eat more. The bakers and Lindt brownies tied for last in the flavor competition. The first thing that I tasted was sweet and then caramel and then chocolate. They both had good good texture um, as brownies but they didn't carry the chocolate flavor as much as the gear deli. The flavors in the Bakers and Lindt reminded me of um, a brownie mix. So we decided to conduct our own little taste test, but this time with two different kinds of chocolate. This morning, I baked a couple different batches of brownies. The first with expensive Godiva chocolate. The second with Nestle chocolate. Well, what did the newsroom think? I think I like B better. We had Channel 4 staffers try both batches and then record their favorite. Okay. I like A. You can taste the chocolate more in B. I like this one. That was A? Mm -hmm. That did It's like A. Another A, because it tastes more like a brownie. This is good, but it doesn't taste like a brownie. Verdict? <laughs> Uh, I don't think this one is um, darker, smokier, <laughs> a little more on the chocolate and the caramel end. Twenty people tried both batches, and believe it or not, the inexpensive Nestle batch won. When it came to chocolate fondue, Good Housekeeping's testers liked the taste of all the chocolates. What was necessarily the winner in the brownies, that intense chocolate flavor, wasn't always the favorite in fondue. That kind of comfort, almost chocolate puddingy flavor of the lint in the bakers was really popular. The bottom line, go with expensive brands if you crave intense chocolatey desserts. But for puddings or fondues, the less expensive bakers could be the sweetest choice. Gourmet chocolates often cost three to four times more than the cheaper varieties, which may or may not be worth it, just depending on your taste. We should note the final tally in Wendy's Brownie Bake Off. 16 people liked the batch made with the Nestle Toll House chips. Seven people liked the batch made with that Godiva chocolate. Including you. Now I like the Godiva. And while we're talking about chocolate, we might as well talk about peanut butter. Researchers at Oklahoma State University have invented...